<laughs> I'm uh, Zach Stone Rock. I direct. I'm Michelle Walker. Kid. Olivia Meyer. So um, I thought maybe we could start out with um, uh, Ben if you wanted to talk a little bit about the inspiration for this for this show and um, just briefly give us an idea of, of where that idea came from. Uh, twisted dark vagaries. Were you a wrestler? Yeah, I did. I wrestled in high school, uh -huh. and um, so not you know vagaries about doing something like this. But, <laughs> Mm. What would it work? Is, you know, would that be a cool story? Um, I just thinking about that, and then from there, you know, is it is you know, what's the responsibility to turn it into a play? What would it be? That would be the point of the movie. Um, so, and I wanted to, I wanted to write a contemporary piece about something that I had to do. Um, so I, I wrote this about. Zach, what, what um, led you to the story and made you think, oh, I want to tell this story? Uh, so Ben and I have been friends for years. We've worked, worked together at uh, museums, and um, you know, he's uh, very familiar with, familiar with his writing, just because we, you know, he's shown me stuff through the years. You know. um, and I, I'm an actor, too, so I've, I've acted in, in some plays that he's written, and so I was... I think I just asked you, like, hey, do you have any, anything like that? I was just like, I kind of want to direct something. <laughs> so I just, he sent me a couple scripts, and I read this one, and I really, uh, I mean, I think probably the same response that the audience had seeing it, I just responded really uh, emotionally to the, you know, the, the middle part of the play, where it's, you know, all the really intense stuff is, uh, is happening. Um, and I love the idea that you're, you're watching it, and you're so... You're so horrified by what you're seeing that it clicks that, well, wait, this is exactly what this guy is putting people through for all those years, and, and not only getting away with it, but being celebrated for it. And, and now that's yeah, it's such a part of our culture. I just, yeah, I just really love that. And Ben's writing is, is so funny, too, and I just really, um, I, I think we, you know, I, I get your humor, you know, I think we think we're kind of on the same page. Yeah, we're both dark. Yeah, exactly. Kind of sick. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one laughing at times. <laughs> um. So, Mark, uh, what was it like creating this character um, for this play? I mean, it's it's um, you know, it's kind of a struggle as an audience member like you, you kind of feel sorry for for Harrison. Did you also understand Beaver's position, but then you also think, well, you know, Beaver's going to cancel him, but then there's also this, so it's kind of like a seesaw of sympathy. So how did you approach uh, creating this character? Well, I, when I go after something, I, I don't think about anybody else's character. Mm -hmm. uh, because that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as, far as, as far as who you are and where you're coming from and what your what your job is and what your goal is, in a way that has nothing because he's got his own thing going. And then how do those things come together? But you, you sort of you come from here and he comes from there and I'm back and back. You know, I don't concern myself with it, except for I've got my, here's my job. Right? And, and I have to bring this to, to this conflict. In this uh, and, and I don't that's kind of how I approach it. But my favorite thing about this character is his journey. Because he's got, he's got a great trip in this show. And so, so, does, so does Joel. Yeah. 
Bravo. Uh, it happens so it doesn't happen. But, uh, but I will, what I'll say, I mean, it's really a testament of how good the script for people that have that same experience just reading it. And I, I uh, but I think it's been, it's, it was really illuminating to me, actually, to see, to get to watch it. You know, we've been working on it for a month or whatever, uh, to get to watch it with an audience. Um, and I was talking to them about this uh, last weekend. But, um, there's, there's two scenes in the, sort of in the middle of the play where he, where Beamer first comes in, and, and, and after he's made this decision that he's going to put his coach through this, you know, he can be confident about it and put his coach through this training thing. Uh, and that first scene where he's doing that, where he's like, you know taking the remote away from him, taking his crackers away, and all that stuff, the audience reaction is it's very, it's like, yeah, ha ha, yeah, like, you know, get him, but you know, like it's you feel good about it for a minute, and then it gets into that next scene where they start doing the training, and all of a sudden it's like it's not that different. You see, the tone of the scene is not that different, but it's all of a sudden you know, the whole feeling in the room is like, oh god. This is, too, this is way too much. Like, I was very bad. You still have a bad name. I also know it's very bad name as far as the granddaughter coming back in and being like trying to do the best job that she could and take care of her grandfather and the conflict of And yet she just doesn't listen either. No, she doesn't. She believes the caretaker, doesn't she? It's convenient. No, it's easier. It's, it's easier. Yeah. She's going to Florida. Yeah. Yeah. She she's got three she kids. Yeah. You've done it four times yeah. before. Yeah. Well, the one was Stephen. Married. Married to the choices. Bad story. <laughs> Well, I think that's where I was struggling as an audience member, where it got into elder abuse. Yeah. And so, really, what is the recourse if nobody believes this guy, the cops yeah. won't even believe this guy, because it happens every day, yeah. right? Yep. And so that's where I was like, this is really crossing a line in legality, um, and how do you direct that, where, you know, you make it okay for us to watch him getting abused? Well, to me, I mean, from a directing standpoint, I think That's the whole point. Yeah. Right? right? Is that you're watching it and, and it's very clearly like, no, this is abuse. Yeah. This is completely wrong. And then, I mean, to me, that was the realization of just like, well, how is it, is it any different than what the coach was doing to these kids? When they, you know, so you're going to the rest of the show. Right. And yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I talked a lot about the idea that, that yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a horrible choice. It's irresponsible. Um, but we generally don't watch plays because the characters are doing what's responsible. Right? Right. And that tends to be pretty boring. It's because they decide to do something and stick to it no matter what. And that's the danger. And, and it, you know, it could end up in the worst possible way. And, and we thought because of that, we could get away <laughs> with, with this. And we didn't know if audience members would be like, oh, disgusting. 